welcome to my channel I'm the soul teacher I'm here today to do your June 2020 reading thank you for joining me let's see what's happening in June for you guys okay so we're gonna start with overall energies for the month Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. Please, can we have two cards for overall energies for Capricorn in June 2020? It's Capricorn, June 2020. This one wants to come out. One more card, please, for Capricorn in June 2020. Overall energies for the month of June 2020. We have one more card, please. Let's just do that. Okay. Pleiades. Interesting. Okay, we have soul family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. And we have Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. See the two um, whales there and the two dolphins there in the back? The whales and dolphins are the keepers of our Akashic records on earth. I don't know how many people really know that, um, but this is the truth. That's that's why um, they're so protected in the world right now. Is um, they're they're actually the keepers of our akashic records, and by saying that you don't have to do this alone, you need to call in your soul tribe or your tribe. This is this to me tells me that you need to call in the people that shares your akash, which is your soul tribe. Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. This is the first time that this card has come out in a very long time. Um, so this tells me that you have some kind of a spiritual mission here on earth that you need to serve humanity. Okay, let's get to the dragon oracle cards. <coughs> See what the dragons have to say. My son has got a real affinity with dragons. It's very interesting the things that he comes to tell me. Dragons are amazing. Okay, that one really wants to come out. Sunshine Yellow Dragon. Please can we have two, one more card actually. I'm gonna take that one, okay. Gosh. <laughs> this seems like very happy energies, very childlike um, energies. It's beautiful. The sunshine yellow dragon helps you to help animals. Well, being Capricorn and an earth sign, I can totally understand this card. Serve animals, heal, respect and understand them. And suddenly, this card just came to mind again. The Akashic records that's kept in the whales and dolphins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you've got a very interesting mission here on earth, Capricorn. Rainbow Dragon brings the leap of joy that opens new doors. Have trust, rediscover wisdom, expect miracles, accept opportunities. This is gorgeous. Now guys, being joyful and in a joyful place. This is the closest that you'll ever get to God, Source, the universe, whatever you want to call it, this is the closest that you'll get to these Source energies, is by being in joy. And when you are in joy, this is when things around you happen because that's the that's in the vibration that you send out into the world, into the field, into the Akashic field. And that is then what you will be drawing to you, which means that expect miracles, accept opportunities because that's what you're going to get when you are in joy. That's why you enjoy something. This is so cool. Very nice energies to begin with. Okay. Ooh, okay. That was just brought to my attention. Fated meeting. Interesting. Okay, so guys, this is how my reading works. If you're new to my channel, which you probably are because my channel is very new. <laughs> I do three cards for career and I do three cards for love. Um, and then I use the tarot to put some meat on those and also to get you the outcome of your reading. Sorry guys, I had to stop the camera for a bit. My son was hungry. So I just wanted to, just gave him a sandwich quickly. Okay. So, as I was saying, I do career and I do love. 
and then I use Nutella to put some meat on it and um, clarification and also get you to the outcome of your reading. <coughs> Thank you spirits and angel guides. Please can we have three cards for Capricorn for career. Ooh, here we go. Wow. Can we have one more card please? This one got stuck in my hand. King of Roses. Wow, it looks like you're on top of your career, guys. Can we have three cards for Capricorn in love, please? This is a general reading, guys. This is for everybody. Whether, oh my goodness. Whether you're single or married or in a complicated or uncomplicated relationship, does not matter at all. This is for everybody. So. Your, your energies are all over the place, guys. Goodness gracious me. Okay, we've got birth, and we've got the scribe. Are you going to find someone that's going to write you love poems called Capricorn? <laughs> for one more card, please, for Capricorn and love for June 2020. Okay, there we go, Pass unknown. That's beautiful. Bottom of the deck, the Queen of Scrolls. Look at that. Oh, it's the King of Roses and the Queen of Scrolls. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. So, before I get into everything, I'm going to draw some tarot to see how this all plays out. I'm just going to turn the volume down here. Feels like I'm competing. Okay. So Capricorn, let's get a few tarot on the board for you. Dear spirit and angels, can we please have two cards for Capricorn for the garden, please? Why is the garden here? Two cards for the garden, please. Four pentacles, okay. One more card for the garden, please. Okay, this is, wow, three cards. Okay, I'm going to put them there. Can we have two cards for Archangel Michael, please? Why is Archangel Michael in the career line, please? Justice, wow. Um, Archangel Michael with his sword of truth. And as I was saying that, the Queen of Swords comes out. Wow, okay. Can we have two cards for the King of Roses, please? Two cards for the King of Roses. And we have two cards. Oh, goodness. Okay, so it's these two. Okay. Oh, Ace of Swords. Wow. Wow. Can we have two cards for birth, please? Why is birth in the love line? Why is birth? Five of Swords. Hollow Victories. Can we have one more card for birth, please? Why is birth in the love line? Why is birth... Okay, I'm gonna take birth of them. Wow. Okay. <coughs> Five of cups. Five of swords. Ten of cups. Wow. Woo, goosebumpy right there. Can we please have two cards for the scribe, please? Why is the scribe... And the love line, please. Hmm. Ten of Wands. Why is the scribe in the love line? One more card for the scribe, please. One more card for the scribe. Four of Swords. This is interesting. Can we have two cards for Paths Unknown, please? Two cards for Paths Unknown. Two cards for Paths Unknown, please. Why is the Paths, paths Unknown card in the love line? What's going to happen to Capricorn in June 2020 regarding love? <laughs> okay, Ace of Pentacles and Six of Cups. Let's see what's the bottom of the deck is Page of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Temperance and the Devil. Okay. Wow. This is suddenly new to my way of reading, guys. <laughs> I haven't been doing this at all. It's just been happening now since the previous reading. So this is interesting. I am an intuitive reader, so I do what I feel 
I should do at that moment and yeah this is what I've been feeling to do so let's look at career so we have here the garden now this this to me is this is male and female energies right so to me this portrays balance now five is change this is the five of cups in a normal deck five of cups in a normal deck is <coughs> normally um, uh, uh, feeling sorrow of what you've left behind in the past now when you look at this five is in Tibetan numerolo numerology five is change this little guy here the masculine side the action side of you is aiming at something and in the book it says that you need to check the adjacent card to see where he's aiming at which is this one which is Michael with the sword of truth and the queen of swords here and justice the little girl here that's the feminine side of you the side that that's the emotional side the intuitive side and she is looking through a magnifying glass at a butterfly and they're all in the um in a rose garden roses in some in um symbolizes unconditional love so in a career line this is something obviously that you love to do you love to do what you do but i feel that it hasn't been in balance five is also the number just before six which six is something that's being brought into balance six is balance so what i feel here is that you have to transform something emotionally or intuitively in order for balance to occur uh, and I completely forgot about these cards. Let's see quickly. The four is right before the five. Now the, the, the four of pentacles is you holding back. Pentacles is money, but it can also mean something that you've held back on emotionally, which I do feel here. But uh, you might have also um, felt a lack of money, financial lack with this card. Um, <clears throat> Eight of pentacles is something that... that you work very hard on it's this is this is a hard working card so obviously you work very hard whatever you do as a in a career you work really hard and wow okay i didn't see the two of swords here so the two of swords this is a two is always a decision but in in tibetan numerology it also oh yes that's right in tibetan numerology this is the card of duality it's the card of, of masculine and feminine, but that also brings you back to balance, which is exactly what I've been looking at now, is something that's out of balance that needs to be brought into balance. And this is another five, the five of wands. This is something that you're really passionate about. You are really, wands is passion. You're really passionate of, of um passionate in your in your career in your work what you do is your passion but there's something there that you have this fight about between your heart and your mind maybe you feel that you don't get enough money for what it is that you do but you love it so much you don't really want to do something else so it's it's you 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 it's like you have to make this decision that you don't really want to and you're also blindfolded and and the moon is fear the moon is secrets being held the moon is um the moon is also intuition which brings me back to the little girl here but this tells me that there's something that's not in balance and i think from what i see here and what i feel here is that this is something that you're really passionate about but you don't get enough money from it and that makes you have this fight between your heart and your mind is I really love this but I don't make enough money so which brings us to the nine the truth of sword the truth of sword the sword of truth now in this this the sword of truth is there at the back of, of Archangel Michael Archangel Michael is in this card protecting the little ones now the little ones are pure. The little ones are in touch with their emotions so much. That's why they tantrum. That's why they would screech in joy right after a whole traumatic thing has happened because they're so in touch with their emotions. 
this tells me that whatever it is that you feel here emotionally about with your career is the right thing but there's something that needs to be brought into balance for you to be happy in all of this and that's why the queen of swords is here now the queen of swords this is someone that cuts things out of her life that she's unhappy about okay this is justice once again the sword is here the sword of justice the sword of truth this is the balance that needs to be brought into whatever is going on here in your career in order for you to be happy and passionate in your career wow this is so cool and here we have the sword of truth again so we have the sword here in every single card in your career line but this is the single lady card this is the and there's no gender this is this is more energies this chick here is happy in her career she's happy in her financial life she's happy in her life this is the single lady card this is the ace of swords this is the king of roses this is emotional fulfillment so you need justice in some part of your career that's got everything to do with truth and this is going to bring your career into balance sorry guys i have to stop the camera again for the little one so this is career being brought into balance now we're going over to your love line okay we have here a four a four is a new foundation it's a it's it's a brand new foundation um, a stable one one that's um, built with the right the right type of stone if I can say it that way this is birth now you see these two kids the feminine and the masculine walking hand in hand and this chick has got what has she got in her oh she's got flowers in a little basket and there's a the sun is there and it's shining on them and there's just it's beautiful on the outside and there's a little dog here so this tells me that this is the the birth of a relationship um, this is something like um, Stonehenge it's ancient ruins in the background this tells me that your love is your love life is about to have some kind of a if your love life has been broken down previously before this is the start of a foundation of someone with someone from your akash remember this is the akashic tarot deck no i didn't say it sorry so this is the akashic tarot deck and this is okay the queen of scrolls look at her look at her i feel that this has got something to do with this um, remember I said something what why did I say someone going to write you there we go okay <laughs> this is interesting so some somewhere someone might resonate with this this is someone that likes to write I think someone that's coming into your life that's going to write I feel poetry very strongly in this from the moment I drew that card poetry was really strong for me I have no idea why so this is the birth of a brand new foundation what we see here is we see a hollow victory this is a guy that's that's been battling and you see that this guy is walking away here and he won the battle but this is a hollow victory he, he didn't he lost too much he lost too much in this battle he didn't want to lose and he's sad about that it's emotional loss but you've won the battle so yes there is emotional loss but because of the emotional loss and the hollow victory of this battle the two fives brings you to the ten of cups which is your foundation your brand new foundation in a brand new beginning in your love life the ten of cups is the happy ever after card everything that you ever want every wish fulfilled see the flowers see the little baby there see all the lights see the rainbow with all the colors in it see all the full cups this is your happy ever after and this is the the start of that 
So this is where the, the poetry and writing thing comes in. And I'm not sure how this is playing out. I might actually draw another card or two on, on this because I'm not sure what message this is. Maybe it's a message for someone out there um, that needs to hear it, at, uh, but I'm not getting that message. <clears throat> this is described. Maybe it's maybe you need to journal. Maybe you need to write down. A, a scribe is in ancient cultures. A scribe was someone that used to copy um, religious texts or just um, books, uh, like scientific books, maths, all those things. They used to copy it over into new books just for the for the sake of preserving. But also, scribes were used to also translate certain texts. And what happened, or, or what happened, not what happened, many people have a, a, a big misconception about scribes. Scribes are not copiers or just translators. Scribes were of the most, of the highest of educated individuals of the era. And the reason being is that whatever was written in the text, in the ancient text, had to be portrayed or had to be um, given over. The information had to be carried over to the next generation meticulously and in the right context. Um, that's probably one of the biggest problems we have with the Bible these days is that there are so many versions of it. Which one is the true one? Which one is the one that was actually supposed to be there? But that's the, that's the reason why the scribe is there. And the Queen of Scrolls, the, the scroll, see the scroll, the scribe that writes the scroll. Maybe this is the, the feminine and the masculine of it. Um, because this is the Akashic Tarot deck, maybe what it says here is that maybe you should go in, inwards and go see, because that's what the Four of Swords is about, go find your own truth. Go find in your Akash that ancient educated person, because it's in there. You are it. Otherwise, it would, would not have come out in your reading. Um, and the Ten of Wands is something that you're really passionate about, but it's, it's a burden. It's a burden that you need to put down. Um, maybe it's got something to do as well with your reading and maybe your career with your reading what on earth sorry it's got something to do with your career and maybe your relationship the previous relationship or the one that's about to crumble or the about the one that is crumbling at the moment that's maybe what is out of balance is that you have to spend so much time on your career and to get all of this in balance that your relationship has suffered because of it now, we all are at this point on the, with earthly and universal energies that we have. We have the choice right now. We're like, we're at a zero point. Um, I actually have a course called the zero point um, path where your soul will bring you to this point where you can either decide, do I stay here? Do I move forwards and upwards into the light? Do I fall down? even make it worse and fall down this very dark abyss what do i do you have a choice here what i feel about this love reading together with your career reading and i've been getting this through all of the readings that i've done so far for june is that your love and your career is so entangled and that's actually what it should be right um because it's who you are because you need to do what you are passionate about and that what you love in your career that is directly linked to your love life your private life as well you need to be fulfilled in both of them um, so you've got this burden that you need to put down and maybe the burden is that you just need to bring your balance in your career your balance in your career what guys I'm sorry <laughs> I can't speak for some reason Maybe you need to bring your career and your love life in balance this way. That might be, oh, you see, you've got the temperance here. You also have the devil here. See, and then, oh my goodness, that's why I had to do this. Then you have here the page of wands and the page of pentacles. This is a brand new beginning in both love and money love life career life this is a brand new beginning in both of them this might actually just be a shift in balance guys this this might 
be all you really need. Get rid of the toxicity and get everything into balance. Wow, this is synchronistic like you cannot believe. Goodness. Put down that burden and go inwards and find your truth inside. Paths unknown. <laughs> you see, oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. This is a happy family life. This is a brand new beginning in money. This is you flowering already. The two bees, the flowers. This is you flowering abundantly in money, financially. This is you having the best love, the best family life you can ever want. This is you going to pass unknown because you don't know yet how to balance your love and your career. And this is what you need to, to find out. Wow. Well, there we go. See how it all just comes together. It's absolutely perfect. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you with three guidance cards, which then will show us what you guys need to do. Oh my goodness. What you guys need to do in order to get this balance of love and money, right? Dear Divine Goddesses, please can you give Capricorn three cards of guidance for love and career in June 2020. Capricorn in love and career, three cards of guidance, please. In love and career, three cards and guidance, please. It's I, I have this feeling of the goddesses going through the cards and like, what are we going to give these, these guys? <laughs> Rhiannon. Sorceress, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Look at that. I have a Capricorn student and I'm going to send him the link and he'll know that I'm talking about him. That asked me this question, how, how to manifest what you have uh, or what you want in real life. And this is how is you have to feel it. You have to feel with your emotions and your passion. You have to feel like it's already happened. That's how you attract what you want in your life, is you have to feel and live like it's already happened. And that, what I just said there, is very big and it goes very deep. And it takes a bit of time and concentration and a bit of inward, uh, inward looking to find out exactly what that really means for you. Dear Goddesses, can we please have two more cards for guidance for Capricorn in June 2020? Oh my God, really? <laughs> Green Tara, start delegating. And then we have two more down there that I am going to take. Okay, <clears throat> Green Tara, start delegating. And that might be the answer to getting your career into balance is to ask others including me to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself because then that burden where is that burden again the ten of swords one there we go that burden from your passion will lighten considerably guys which would then probably bring your love life and your relationship life or your <laughs> your career life into balance then we have solace bodies of water spend time near water such as a lake river or the ocean to recharge your batteries because you're tired because you're working too hard you're working so hard where's that egg card it's here i'm sure there see you're working too hard you need to relax and you need to do it near water it's very important and then we have mave i hope i pronounced that properly Cycles and rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. This is also a very, um, a very important aspect to balance in yourself as well as everything that you're doing and that has to do with you. Is you have to honor the cycles and the rhythms of your body and of everything else around you as well. Sometimes you're more tired. Sometimes you're less tired. Listen to your body and honor it, and that's how you will achieve balance which i think basically this is what this reading is all about it's this reading is about balance guys see i see temperance that's a sagittarius energy but it's this is balance temperance is balance it's very very important 
Thank you Capricorn for spending some time with me on my channel. Please like, share and subscribe if you feel called to do it. My channel is very new. I intend on growing it hugely and I intend to do a lot of different types of readings on this. Um, my pure intent is, is for teaching. Um, I'm a master teacher and I'm here to serve humanity and I really want to teach you guys how to transit from the old energies into the new and the wonderful benefits that it has for, for, for you. Thank you so much guys. I appreciate your, your watching my, my channel. I hope you have a magical June. Um, remember to keep those energies balanced. Hey, love and light to you.